All right, guys, let's see. Chris, we have Chris here. We have Meb back for a, our second break. Love the 2022 design. 2023 kind of lacked. 2023, I feel like they went for like the Hall of Fame plaque look. So I, I think that was the first product that Fanatics ran right from the beginning. Um, so the, the Fanatics flair of the Hall of Fame pla uh, plaque look. Definitely a little less tradi little, little different from the traditional Bowman look. Um, all right. Well, I give a couple pe more people uh, time to join. Um, for the break tonight, um, I've actually never had this happen in four years, um, but there was an issue with the shipment on the Super Jumbo box. Um, so I have the two Jumbos here, and uh, as an apology, we're going to – Adds a couple of extra things, but we're going to be running the super on a separate night. Um, I believe I'm going to be able to get my hands on one tomorrow, um, and we'll run that tomorrow night. Um, but I have one that I believe I'm going to be able to pick up from an LCS in New, in New York City. I tried to go to every LCS today in the city, and apparently there's been a huge run on super jumbo boxes and jumbo boxes. Um, but, uh, no hobby shops anywhere in New York city or the boroughs had any jumbo boxes. Um, so I'm going to try and pick one up tomorrow. If I'm able to get my hands on one tomorrow, I'll message everybody and we'll run that tomorrow night. If not, I have two other jumbos on the way, one in the mail that was being delayed. Um, and one that should be here Wednesday. So apologies for that. Um, but we'll get that super jumbo running this week and I'll message everybody before the start, uh, or during the day before we run that, that, uh, box and we'll run that one at nine o'clock, um, hopefully tomorrow. But, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to add a couple of extra pieces here. Well, we'll open up a 2023 Bowman mega box, uh, 2023 Bowman hobby pack and a 2023 Bowman Chrome pack. I don't remember where this Chrome pack came from. I don't remember if this was a mega add-on or if this was from a hobby box. Um, let's see. Besides that, our leftover list that we have. Not many names tonight. We have our leftover first five spots for $8. That's Andrew Walters, Conley Early, Dylan Questad, Jack Mahoney, and Lucas Gordon. Uh, Justin, the Chrome Wrapper. You mean like the wrapper that's on this thing? Chrome Wrapper. Oh, oh, this. Okay, yep, will do. Yeah, AJ Tuji. The uh, there are one, two, three, four hobby shops in Manhattan that I normally, if if there's any kind of a shipment issue, uh, I'm able to pick one up at one of those shops. I think that's maybe happened a handful of times in the four years I've been doing this, and those shops have never let me down. Uh, today did not work out, um, 
And then I also always have the option of the MLB flagship store, which didn't have any supers. Uh, so all, all came up empty. Let's see. Amazing to me how draft has exploded. The breakout games doing wonders. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the demand for this product in the last week has just gone absolutely crazy. Um, okay. So drop the first in and then the non first prospects. Uh, just a super that we were broken tomorrow. Correct, Massey. Um, yeah, I expect I'll be able to get that one running tomorrow. I will message all you guys to confirm that. Um, but correct, the two super, the two jumbos will be running tonight. All right. Um, if anybody's interested in adding anything tonight, we have the uh, prospect lot: Ariel Castro, Gavin Cross, William Bergola. Uh, oh, and Justin grabbed the first lot. You got that, Justin? Justin H. Grabbing the first. Four, eight. <laughs> Jay-Z says, I want this one. Uh, let me just mark down that Justin grabbed that a lot. Okay, and let's get ourselves underway. There was nobody huge left over, so we'll get started right off the bat tonight. Again, I apologize for the delayed super on this one, um, but we will get that one ripping. My goal is tomorrow, and I'll shoot out a message to everybody um, to confirm that. Let's see. Um, and in the meantime, let's uh, let's rip a couple extra packs, and then we'll get to our jumbos. So, starting off, let's uh, let's see what we have in the 2022, 2023 Bowman Chrome pack. Which Justin, I will send you this one. I'll put that aside and not throw it in the garbage. We have an Oswald Peraza, Wander Franco. Joey Ortiz now with the Brewers, I believe. Bryce Miller and Matt Mervis. So some nice rookie names in that one. Uh, there, Of course, none of these guys are in this product. That doesn't help. That doesn't help at all, does it? That's annoying. All right, let me see if I can find something else. Of course, it's a mojo pack, and none of these guys are in the 2023 Bowman Draft product. Oh, of course, none of these guys are in any of these products. Because these are all draft picks and none of these guys were in past products. All right, well, that makes no sense then. Well, I'm going to open up this hop, this uh, 2023 Bowman pack anyway. We'll see if we can get any add-ons for anybody in this one. Um Otani, Alonzo Cruz, Josh Young, nothing. Jose Ramos, Suzak Termar. There's an add-on for somebody. Miguel Blyce and Edwin Arroyo. All right, this isn't helpful. Are there any non-hobby products of 2023 Bowman Draft this year? There's, is, there's no retail 2023 draft, right? And there's no light boxes this year either. Uh, Joey Page grabbing the non firsts. Let's see. It's always the super tube in two, three times where good old UPS relate. Yeah. Uh, just put those random people. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'll just. Send those those randoms out to uh, to you guys. Was wondering how I was going to do that. Yeah, smart guy. Not not thinking about the fact that these are all 2023 draft picks who were in this product for the first time. Miguel Blaise looked good in the breakout game. I is that what Meb mentioned? Oh, you you are Meb. <laughs> um, 
All right, let's get this thing running. Let's start with the start with this one. All right, so our first box of the night is one of our two jumbos. We just read Joey Page grabbed the non first in the spreadsheet. All right, and let's see what kind of hits we can get. They were talking, they were talking like Sedan Rafaela breaks as the starting center fielder. Rafaela played in the majors for a while last year, right? Yeah, empty box. I think I remember Raphael hitting one just bomb of a home run at some point at Fenway Park over the monster. Let's see. Let's see. Kemp Alderman, Joey Reimer, Watt, John Watts Brown, and Jake DeLeo for Jay-Z. Always nice to call him out. Jay-Z, I thought the strategy after last week was say that you don't want them to hit anymore, and then immediately once you say it, then they start popping up. All right, we have a Chase Davis. Oh, um, what am I doing? I'm in my 2022 mindset where I used to read out every name of every uh, every paper card. Colin Hauk. I caught the uh, the Mets futures game and I realized that I was pronouncing his name wrong. Connor Hauk, Mets first rounder. Marcus Brown, Luis Almeida, Hunter Owen, Ty Pete. Some nice names on the board already, and our first autograph of the break is Marcus Brown. Marcus Brown, base auto, starts us off. Feldman Celestin, transformative talent. Travis Honeyman and Alex Ramirez, refractors. So Marcus Brown's spot starts off the night with our first auto. Jeez. Colin Houck, looking good. And Ty Pete, our other first chrome card, also looking good. Marcus Brown double hit here. Marcus Brown chrome and Marcus Brown base auto. For those of you guys who are not in our Facebook group yet, I'm going to drop Facebook group info into the chat. Let's see. That only works for Ty Pete, says Jay-Z. Well, you, we said Ty Pete's name, and there he is. Um, don't want to see Kyphus, Elian, Soto, or Hurley, says Chris. Beat Who beat Jay-Z to Hurley for this one? Uh, Meb says Zach Levinson hit a bomb in the Cardinals breakout. Tonight went for three times the normal amount. Wow. Well, we've seen him twice already. Um, for anybody who wasn't in the previous break, I mentioned that uh, I was talking to Brian during the Mets breakout game about how empty the stands were at that game and uh, saying that we, at least me and him need to get down to some of these games next year. Be, it would be fun if we could get a, uh, a big group of uh, people to, get, to head down to some of those games, but I feel like it was a huge missed opportunity to not head down to Florida or Arizona and drive around and catch a handful of those games since they're spread out over multiple days. All right, we have Isaiah Coupette, Felman Celestin, Rhett Louder, and Matt Shaw both getting hits for first-rounders. Brando Maia, Ariel Castro, Paul Skeens, who had a great outing in his game. Christian Campbell, and Luis Angel Acuna, who didn't really do much in, in the Mets game. Clifford looked good. Parada looked good. I was very underwhelmed with what I saw from Alex Ramirez. He, I mean, maybe it's just his stance and the way he plays the game, but he didn't look all that interested in being on the, on the field. guy who I was very excited about as a Met prospect, but uh, after after seeing that, a little bit less excited. I think this is going to be a purple auto coming up here. 
So uh, our second card, our second auto could be purple. Enrique Bradfield Jr., first rounder for the Orioles, Max Anderson, Samuel Basalo, Drew Gilbert, Oop, wrong pile. Ty Floyd and oh, well, good night to see Jackson Merrill color. Uh, Meb was mentioning that he was announced as the starting center fielder. Did you say center fielder, Meb, for uh, for San Diego in uh, in Korea? Number ninety seven of two fifty for one of the Padres' top prospects. Another insert of Paul Skeens and another Zach Levinson. Is that two Zach Levinson refractors? And a Jason Churio behind that. Levinson Refractor and Honeyman Refractor. So two Reds, uh, two Red Birds Refractors. Center field, okay. So Jackson Merrill announced that he will be on the Major League roster to start the season. We'll see if that lasts after they come back from Korea. Maybe the Padres doing the noble thing and bringing up somebody that they were planning on bringing up early in the season on opening day and uh, going for that rookie of the year draft pick. So one auto out so far. It was from the first row. Before I forget, let me take the other two first rows and put them down to the bottom. People you know that we're going to spring training this week had no idea about those games. That's it's crazy, like how empty the stands were there. I I have to imagine there was some opportunity to uh, to meet some of those guys and maybe grab some autographs. Uh, once once we start hearing about those games uh, all the way next year, I'll, I'll I'll put it out there and see if anybody's anybody's around and interested in attending some of those games. We have a Nazan Zanatello, Tanner Hall, Blake Mitchell, Tommy Troy, nice pack here, Luis Guanipa. Joe Whitman, Sky Blue Chrome, Braden Taller, Draft Knights, Jonah Cox, who I was Meb just informed me is now a giant, and Ryan Clifford, who had the nice futures game for the Mets. I believe he's the Mets number three prospect now, Ryan Clifford. I'm not sure if that order goes Gilbert Acuna Clifford. Saw Tidwell pitch a little bit. He didn't look all that great either, but I uh, I know he's just coming back from a pretty rough injury last year. Blake Mitchell getting a chrome hit on the board. Let's see. The Brave went to a Brave Spring training game back when they were still at Disney, and it was a lot of fun. I never actually went to a spring training game is that true? No, I never actually went to a spring training game. I used to, when I was a kid, go and uh, watch them just like practice on the backfields before they actually started playing spring training games. I'm pretty sure that's what we did. It was a long time ago. 30 or so years. Charlie Soto, first rounder. Drew Hackenberg, second rounder for the Braves. How you Lee, Xavier Isaac, Mac Horvath, and Homer Bush. So some more nice names. Wyatt Langford Glass, not numbered, but a nice insert there for Langford. Joe Whitman getting another refractor. And Patrick Riley also getting a refractor. So we got Wyatt on the board in Glass after his grand slam in his futures game. And two Paul Skeens inserts on the board. Let's uh, let's add some Chrome or something else fun to those to those lots for tonight. Let's see, Justin saying to moving to Tampa in May. The Yankees, Blue Jays, Phillies will all be within twenty minutes. Low A teams use the facilities the rest of the year. That is true. I. The Yankees was one of the one one of the uh, facilities that I went to uh, back in the day. There's a Max Clark paper. We have a Jacob Berry, Josue De Paula, Cole Foster. We have some color coming up here. Let's see what it is. Looks like maybe yellow. 
Spencer Nivens, TJ Nichols, and there's a bat. Not a first, though. Roman Anthony, number 66 of 75. Max Clark, transformative talent. Seth Keener and Zach Thornton, refractors. Roman Anthony getting our yellow to 75 chrome hit. Let's see, one more pack from this row before we should hit our auto at the bottom. Looks like a sky blue paper card in this one. Lucas Gordon. That one going to... Justin's lot. The first, the leftover first, Kevin Parada, Brady Smith, Brock Roden, Conley Early, Amarian Boyd, Paul Wilson, Jackson Holiday Draft Picks and Prospects, Tayshawn Walton, and Jonathan Mejia Refractors. And let's save that bottom row auto till the end of this jumbo box. I did find it really interesting, though, that it seemed like initially when this product was released that there was a ton of demand for the jumbos. And the fact that now that's shifted over to supers was, uh, was really interesting. Funny how taste shifts over uh, a short period of time. We have a Dylan Questad. First Chrome, Jackson Merrill back on the board. Ethan O'Donnell, Maui Ahuna, Nelson Rada, Cole Schoenwetter. Another Paul Skeens insert. That's the third there. Carson Rockefort and Brooks Lee refractors. Oh, that's the auto pack. See, we have a speckle refractor coming up in this one. Connor Burns chrome. There's our first Wyatt Lankford chrome on top of his glass insert. Carlson Reed and Manuel Bonilla. Max Clark, really nice pack there. Getting Clark and Langford and a Travis Honeyman speckle refractor. Wyatt Langford also getting an insert draft picks and prospects and Zanatello and Drew Gilbert refractors. Honeyman speckle. Let's open up another pack of top loaders. By far the best 2023 draft products are HTA box, says Jay-Z. Maybe, I, I don't think I've teased this yet in this break, but me and Brian are working on adding on to our Facebook group um, and switching it over to an, to a different platform. Um, I'll provide more information once we start getting that up and running or close to up and running, but maybe HTAs will be more of a possibility of a possibility for us to run once we shift over to our, uh, our new platform. We, we run a lot of team breaks through our Facebook group, but, might, might be able to make HTA more of a regularly incorporated thing going into the future. Um, we're looking at going onto a platform that could be a little bit more interactive um, and possibly somewhere that would allow everybody in the community to uh, become a part of the, I guess, uh, have the ability to, to use it as a marketplace where they can sell singles to everybody else in the community. So uh, I'll keep giving you guys more information once we get closer on that one, but something I'm excited about 
as a possibility for a new thing for us. Starting off this pack, we have a Jacob Gonzalez and Ethan Salas, Alfredo Duno, Braden Taylor, Luke Kieschel. We have a sky blue Patrick Riley and another one going to the first slot, Andrew Walters with a lunar. Max Anderson and Ariel Castro getting refractors. Lots of nice cards in that one. Gonzalez, Taylor, and Salas, all big names getting on the board. And some nice color there with Anderson, the second rounder for Detroit. Walters and Riley both getting color on firsts. And now let's see two more autos. Let's see. Jay-Z says, please continue to do these PYPs on eBay and YouTube as well. Jay-Z, yeah, don't worry. That, that would not stop us from running the, uh, the PYPs on eBay. However, it may actually allow us to run PYPs on a different platform as well. So it might be an add-on PYP rather than a taking the PYP away from eBay. Camden Minacci, Herson Waldrop, Jerron Watts-Brown, Hans Montero, Grayson Hitt. We have a Refractor Auto. It's a Rocky, and it's Jack Mahoney. Is that another hit going to the leftover first slot? Let's see. Walters has a hit. Mahoney has a hit, and Lucas Gordon. So three of the five players that Justin picked up in that lot have now got hits in the first box. Jacob Gonzalez, Draft Picks and Prospects, Matt Taylor, and Wyatt Huddapole, Refractors. Don't worry. We're, we're, we're not going off eBay uh, any anytime soon. I think that even if uh, if the new plat, if the other page is very successful, I think we would always continue running on eBay anyway. Uh, at, at the very least, I find it hard to believe that it would take anything less than two years to fully migrate over to, to the other thing. Uh, eBay, eBay is still the place that has the most number of, uh, most number of people interested. So I think we'll always be there in, in some capacity. looks like we're going to get, uh, another base auto coming up here. So two bases and a refractor to 499 starting us off tonight. Jack Weniger, Chrome, Samuel Munoz, Jaden Ham, Tommy Hawk, Hunter Holland, and it's a bat. Luke Kieschel. Luke Kieschel base auto. Drew Jones transformative talent. Devin Saltabon and William Bergola refractors. So Kieschel, Marcus Brown, and... Jack Mahoney getting our first three autos of this break. Second rounder, Kieschel for the Twins. Not a bad one to hit there. Let me shift over our paper cards, and then we'll go into our second jumbo box. Then <laughs> you are killing it tonight. Jay Z outbid on uh, outbid on Kieschel. What do you guys think of Spencer Strider going into twenty twenty four? I know we have a few Braves fans here. He certainly didn't have the second year that he uh, had in his rookie season. Should I still be scared of him as a Mets fan? Although we've hit him pretty well. Joey and Jay-Z, our resident Braves fans, saying he's still an absolute monster. I guess even in what we would have considered down year last year, he still was very dominant. A down year compared to his first year. Still has still had 20 wins last year. Should be scared of every Brave as a Met fan. That's that's a valid point.
Nick Gonzalez hitting a home run. I'd love to hear that. All right, we have our second empty hobby box. I'm going to guess right off the bat that we're going to have autos in this top row because that's where they seem to be most consistently. Jose Quintana is going to be the Mets opening day starter. That's interesting. Vientos is having quite a spring. All right, starting off box number two. Roger Arias, Mac Horvath back on the board, CJ Kaifus, Jacob Berry, Teddy McGraw, and CJ Kaifus getting an auto. So the autos are not in the first row here. CJ Kaifus base auto starts us off. Justin Crawford, Lucas Gordon, and Alex Clemmy refractors. I think this might be the first CJ Kaifas or, uh, auto we pulled. Hopefully, I believe we had two Kaifases in the break last time. I hope that's the case again. With the the back to back breaks tonight, I didn't have a chance to generate the uh, the list of who was owned by everybody. Um, let's go straight down this first row since we pulled an auto out of the second row here, and let's see what happens with auto location. The Samuel Munoz. Uh, different image than his Chrome card. Emmett, uh, Emmett Olsen, Carlos Jorge, Blake Mitchell on the board for the second time, Jackson Baumeister, Luis Guanipa, and Nathan Detmer. So some repeats, some not repeats. Max Clark, insert, draft night, Bashirs and Jesus Baez. Jesus Baez played in the, uh, in the Mets breakout game he is big <laughs> i didn't realize based on his images that i've seen so far how big a guy Baez is but he is pretty large uh in stature and uh see we'll see what that ages into getting the curve going in spring training says justin wow i forget how many braves fans we have in this uh, braves fans definitely dominate here Let's see. He literally, he's literally who they're discussing on MLB. Yeah, Mab, that's why I brought him up. I got MLB on in the background. Um, he added a curve that looks really good. Yep, <laughs> I did. Um, Jay Z going for seven years in a row. Is that have the Braves won the division six years in a row? Many base, baseball pundits seem to think the Braves have the best rotation in baseball. That genuinely surprised me personally. I don't see it. I I feel like I agree with that being slightly aggressive, but I'm trying to think who I would pick above them. All right, another Waldrop. Chase Jaworski, Hans Montero, Anthony Gutierrez, Charlie Soto, we have a Fuchsia Lunar Crater first. Conley Early, are you kidding me? Conley Early in the first slot. So four of the five leftover first players have now hit for Justin. Justin, this is, uh, this is crazy. Conley Early, number 185 of 199. Enrique Bradfield Jr., draft picks and prospects. Cole Young and Hunter Haas refractors. Astros, if they add Snell, will be a great rotation. The Dodgers, I would assume, have to be in any conversation about best anything. They're calling it the Soul Series. That's interesting. Make it five for five. Who are we missing? Who have we not hit a card of yet from that lot? The Braves won the last six years. Wow. And there were a couple seasons there where the Mets uh, were favorites going into that. And 
What do we do? But disappoint. Why Cruel, Dylan Head on the board for the first time, Jackson Wiggins, Dernish Valdez, Cam Fisher, and How Yu Lee. Very interesting coalitions here. The fact that we're seeing some people repeat, but not everyone. Spencer Jones, Draft Picks and Prospects, Deanne Jorge, and Luke Schlieger, Refractors. Dodgers don't need pitching. They'll just hit everyone out until October. Important important part there being until October. Uh, but I think the Dodgers have a lot of questions with pitching. Says Meb. We'll see what Yamamoto looks like once the uh, regular season starts. Let's see what do we have here. This could be an auto row based on the last, the first row. Let's see what we have. Drew Jones. Philip Abner, Alberto Rios, Chase Davis on the board for the first time in Chrome. We do have another base auto here, either Dodger, Met, Astro. Behind the Xavier Isaac, it is a Tiger, Matt Max Anderson, second rounder base auto. Wyatt Langford, transformative talent, Jace Young, and Yasser Mercedes. So a lot of base in this one so far. Four base autos and a refractor of Jack Mahoney. So let's see if punting uh, the super to another night brings us better luck in uh, in our autos. So two second rounders. What's Kaifas? Kaifas is a third rounder. So this is going to be our last autograph for the break. We'll put that down for the last pack or not of the break, but of tonight's portion of the break. If anybody joined late, uh, apologies again, but there was a, a, a shipping issue. And on top of that, a crazy run on, uh, on Bowman this week with all of the breakout futures games and no LCS in New York city had any jumbo boxes. Uh, very few had, uh, no, had any supers. Very few had jumbos at all. We have a Colt Emerson. Um, so I'm going to try and track one down tomorrow in the, uh, the most reliable hobby shop that wasn't open today. Luis Angel Acuna, Tanner Hall, Christian Campbell, Nolan McLean, who I saw pitch for the Mets in the breakout game. Uh, there was like 98, 99 miles an hour. So McLean could be a uh, future pitcher for the Mets. Ryan Clifford, Bryce Eldridge, on the glass insert, Cam Fisher and Anthony Gutierrez refractors. Uh, but to finish that, um, I have two supers be on the way being shipped to me, and I'm going to check out that uh, that LCS. So hopefully we'll be ripping the super tomorrow night. I'll send out a message to everybody on eBay to confirm that. Um, but apologies for the delay in that. First time that that's happened to us in our four-year history. Always a ton of base autos. Yeah, I feel like we we had one break a month ago where we hit all color autos, not a single base auto in an 11 auto break. 11 auto break, five plus six. Yeah, 11 auto break. We have a Colson Montgomery Sky Blue numbered 28 of 499. Um, but yeah, we've had a, a run recently where we hit a lot of base autos. Yasser Mercedes, Homer Bush back on the board. Jace Young, Josue DePaula, Quinn McDaniel, Spencer Nivens, Braden Taylor, Draft Picks and Prospects, Refractor Paul Skeens, and Cole Miller. Cole Miller. Nice Skeens Refractor on the board after he played very well in his Futures game. Has anybody ever watched I, I don't remember if I've said this. Has anybody ever watched a Korean baseball league game? Yeah, there we go. Catcher misses the ball, hits the umpire in the head. That is basically what I was going to say about Korean baseball. Their Korean Korean baseball fundamentals are not what they are in the major leagues. It looks like uh not even a minor league game. When I was in Korea watching uh, watching their Korean the Korean baseball league game that I was watching, Jackson Holiday on the board, 
Jonah Cox, Dylan Campbell, Wyatt Hudipol, Spencer Jones. We have a purple non-auto of Jack Wenninger. Number 92 of 250 for the Mets prospect, Matt Shaw, transformative talent, and refractors of Detmer and Jaworski. Wenniger purple, adding to the Jackson Merrill purple we've already pulled. Let's see, Chris saying that's what the Yankees are going to do at score. Everyone pitching is going to be suspect. That's what they're going to have to do for sure. Jay, always a ton of base hits. Uh, Ryan says too bad the Montgomery <laughs> Montgomery wasn't in the 22. Uh, yeah, agree on that one. We have, I think we have gold coming up here. So let's see if we can get a – a nice one in gold. Gabriel Gonzalez, Kevin Parada, Hunter Haas, Drew Hackenberg, Tommy Troy. I oh, wish that would have been our gold. Oh, my goodness. There's the low Brady we've pulled. Brady gold. Josh. If you're in the break tonight, congrats. Josh has been one of our Brady chasers for a good percentage of our breaks. And tonight you are getting a really nice looking, well-centered Tom Brady gold. Let's get that in a notch sleeve and a top loader. And that is going to be one of our top hits of the year. Oh, I was hoping we would get something nice in gold, and it doesn't get much nicer than that. Wow. Serial numbered, not 12, unfortunately. 20 of 50. <laughs> I kept the suspense going for a while on the serial number. 20 of 50 Brady. I think we got to take the Marcus Brown and the Jackson Merrill down now. And that is a beauty. What do we have on the last comp on a gold Brady? All right, we have a Colin Huck transformative talent, Adrian Santana, and Davison Gutierrez refractor. I think the first night on release night of draft, somebody was messaging us about what we thought the the value of uh, a Brady Gold was, and I think the conversation at that point was it sold for five thousand. Was that worth it or not? I have to imagine at this point it's not worth anything more than two, but Still, that card should be, I would think, at least a thousand dollar card, even uh, even with the, all of the initial release hype. Still wish it was a Tommy Troy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm okay with the Brady. Congrats to Josh, twelve to thirteen hundred. Still a nice ROI on that one on the night. All right. What can we follow up that with? That is, I'm pretty sure when we, we pulled a teal Brady, we still haven't pulled a Brady auto. We pulled th four of them now. We pulled a base. We've pulled a teal. We've pulled a, uh, a green and now a gold. Um, but, when we pulled the teal, I'm pretty sure it was selling for 3000 So initial release hype is a real thing, guys. <laughs> Trey Morgan, Roman Anthony, Chris Clark, Michael Carrico, Hero Wyatt, 
Christian Campbell and Gavin Cross on the uh, Lunar. Christian Campbell on the Sky Blue. Quinn McDaniel and Gabriel Gonzalez Refractors. Reimer Super Fractured. Jay-Z is asking for. I can't believe Mookie Betts is going to be playing shortstop. I don't think we've talked about that yet. That's wild. Does that mean that uh, Gavin Lux isn't going to be in the in the roster? Jackson Merrill. There we go. Talking about Jackson Merrill being the starting center fielder. All right, we have two more packs left, one more auto left. And, uh, I mean, the Brady Gold makes this a pretty nice box already, but I still think they owe us uh, – a color auto here. Two bases on the board so far. All right. Alex Ramirez, Camden Minacci, Travis Honeyman, Jerron Watts Brown, Noble Meyer, Grayson Hitt, Braden Taylor, Draft Knight, Cole Carrig, and Cam Collier, Refractors. Let's see. Happy for him. He beat me out on the bid, says Beekeeper Sports Cards. You were in second. Ah, oh, sorry, man. Uh, Jay-Z saying GL2K for that is crazy. Um, Patrick saying that's awesome. First time I've seen it pulled live. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we've pulled four. It feels like that's a lot. We've, we've run a good number of breaks to this product, but... Not complaining for sure. Last Brady was a PSA 9, sold for 1200 Oh, I think we have color. I think we might have a nice color. I think we have a real nice color, guys. We're going to have a gold Brady and a red autograph in the same pack. I mean, in the same box. Good luck, everybody. Let's see. Does anybody know if Waldrip Superfractor has been pulled yet? I'm not sure on that one. The two games you saw in spring training, Betts was a shortstop and Lux was second. Thank you for answering that for me, Ryan. All right. Let's see who's going to get one more big hit tonight. We have a Yoendry Vargas, Mike Bove, Jason Churio, Kiner Delgado, Zach Levinson. Let's go to the back. Roderick Arias Refractor. CJ Kyphus Refractor, Tommy Troy, Draft Picks and Prospects, and a red. Oh, that's cool. What are these called? Uh, this is the first one I've pulled. I know Brian pulled one of them earlier. Uh, this is a Max Clark. Is it flag? Let me get a notch to sleep for this. Is this like a world base world baseball classic flag thing? Number one of five. We have pulled some really interesting inserts out of this product this year. The Paul Skeen Super Fractor Class of 2023, and now a red Max Clark. Uh, fl flag variation. Bowman 54 flag variation auto. Red number one of five for Max Clark. What a what a box. A red Max Clark and a gold Brady. Monster card there. Congrats, Max Clark owner. Hadn't seen him to this point. Feels this feels like a weird place to stop. But <laughs> we have a Brady and a Max Clark auto, or a, a Brady gold and a Max Clark auto on the board. I'm going to sleeve up these cards. I will read from what we've seen so far of this break tonight. Um, and then we will resume tomorrow night. Um, if that changes, I, either way, I will email everybody and let them know. Um, but let's recap our hits so far. Starting off, we have a Gavin Cross Lunar, Christian Campbell, Sky Blue Chrome, Tommy Troy Base, Adrian Santana Refractor, Jackson Merrill Purple Refractor. I have a Jackson Merrill numbered one of 10 base relic card. I guess I got to get that one up on eBay. We have a Marcus Brown base auto, Jack Weniger purple refractor, Colson Montgomery, sky blue paper, 
Paul Skeen's Refractor, CJ Kaifus Base Auto, CJ uh, Chase Davis, Blake Mitchell Base, Patrick Riley, Sky Blue Chrome, Andrew Walters Lunar, Max Clark, Wyatt Langford Base, Travis Honeyman Speckle, Lucas Gordon, Sky Blue Paper, Roman Anthony Yellow, Blake Mitchell, Tommy Troy Base, uh, uh, Base, Joe Whitman Sky Blue, Matt Shaw Base, and then uh, I'm not going to take him down, but going across the, uh, the stand so far, we have Max Anderson and Luke Kieschel, second rounder. We have a Conley early lunar, uh, Fuchsia lunar crater to 199. We have a Jack Mahoney refractor auto to 499. And then the maybe two of the top five biggest cards we've pulled out of 2023 Bowman draft uh, up there with the Paul Skeen super auto class of 2023. Tom Brady gold non-auto and a Max Clark flag variation red number one of five jay-z you're killing me man uh let's see jay-z said i've been here for all three monster hits the brady the clark number to five the skein super and the brady I, I i'll have to start paying you to keep showing up if we're gonna keep getting hits like that um tomorrow night so, <laughs> i i think jay-z was being sarcastic on that one um, all right, guys, um, I will send everybody a message tomorrow night. We will get this one resumed with the, uh, with the super and until then everyone have a good start to your week and, uh, we'll, we'll catch everybody for the super and then we'll get this one shipped out. Wait, Jay-Z, seriously? <laughs> I thought, I thought you were there at the beginning and we, when we explained it. No sarcasm. Okay, Jay Z. So then, for you and for anybody else who hasn't, uh, who wasn't here at the beginning, um, the super. There was a shipping issue on the super, and um, every LCS was sold out of supers in New York City and the boroughs. So I am, I believe I'm going to be able to grab one tomorrow. But I also have two um, ship two on the way um, being shipped to me. So. We're going to get that one ripping as quickly as we possibly can. Appreciate uh, the patience from everybody. And we will see everyone for that early in the week. Um, all right, everyone. Have a good night.